You don't really know much about Halloween. Hello and welcome to another Sinister Snacks. I am your host, Laura. I'm Joe. And we're bringing another snack video to you where we eat chips. And we're the newly dead. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so today we are trying Ruffles. Korean style sweet and spicy chili Ruffles potato chips. She likes it hot, I like it not so hot, mm -hmm. but we both like Korean barbecue, whatnot. Green flavors. It's delicious. Um, we're so so on ruffles. You know, we like some of their chips better than others. I mean, you know, if you had ruffles and some like French onion dip, that is like the like classic. Ooh. That's like my dad's like favorite thing on the planet, yeah. I feel like. Although I remember that from like when I was a kid, you know, we always had like the, the good, you know. Although in, if you're in the Rockford area before oh, she just jumped back. <laughs> Kiss myself. I, uh, before Mrs. Fisher's had to get rid of the trans fat, Mrs. Fisher's and French onion dip, that, that, that those are both local companies, Dean's and, yes. and uh, Mrs. Fisher's. Those was a match made in heaven, and then they got rid of the trans fat, and now they're a match made at, in sadness. Well, it's not the worst on the planet, but it's not as good as it used to be. So, um, whoa, that is very like, I'm getting like, Soy saucy, kind of like it smells like uh, like Korean barbecue. Like so there's mm, a little that, soy in there. Ginger, that smells, is that what yeah, it is? that smells really good. Ginger and and soy sauce. And, yeah, if you like Korean, you know, style food. Oh, that smells delightful. Yeah, cheers, cheers for you too. too. Hmm. There's a little bit of heat there, just a little. Not a lot. That chip didn't have much. This one's got a lot. Let me take a look here. They're like really bright orange, too. Hide your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a bigger one here, too. Yeah, the, the, the tip itself is typical Ruffles fare, you know. You know what? If you've had a Ruffles before, you know what it's like. This one's got a lot on it. Hmm. Sweet and spicy chili. Hmm. That's what it tastes like to me. For as much seasoning as on there and as pungent as it smells, it's not quite as full of flavor as I expected. It's not bad, but... I feel like it's got a lot of seasoning. I expected it to punch me in the face a little more than it does. It is... Oh, the dogs are going to be barking, kids. We're it's recording in our house. That goes in the back of the throat. So, there. Uh, if you hear the dog noises, it's because there's people out there <clears> right now. This is Bailey. You can't see him. He's off camera. Oh, there you That's three. Sorry. Hmm. What do you think? I don't hate them. I don't love them. I love them. It's definitely got a, uh, it's all the front mouth. Like none of it, there's very, there's not as much as, of a throat burn. I did. A little bit. Mine is more front Mine's of back mouth. here. Yeah, I'm not getting, I'm getting more like staying in my, in my mouth. Staying? Staying in my mouth. I said staying, but it came out staying in my mouth. There's Bailey. Staying. Keep your little tail down there, Stinkles. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I feel like it, it is spicy. It is sweet. It does taste like Korean like flavor. Definitely smells like it. Definitely smells like it. Okay. Um, so. It's a ruffle. I expected it to taste like a ruffle, like the crunch. Which it does. You know, the, it's, the ruffles are always very consistent. Very consistent. So out of 10. Uh-huh. Where does that sit for you? I mean, based on on what it was, what it was, mm -hmm. and based on the fact that I knew it was a ruffle, um, I would give it a nine. Whoa, whoa! I was thinking like a five, just because for me personally, although it's consistent, it's good flavors there, it paid off on what it promised, so I'm giving it that much. Would I eat it again? Probably not. Will I eat the rest of those? 
there's a good chance I probably will, mm -hmm. or I'll help her eat them because our kids won't. Um, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. I mean, personally. I would. So I would. If you'd like to find us, by the way, if you want to find more content, of course, since you're on YouTube currently, just check, you know, wherever they're hiding the videos right now, and you can check out all of our prior content. Uh, but if you want to find us, you can go to thenewlydeads.com, check out for our two blogs that we write, check out our TV show that is currently uh, available in a bunch of different places, uh, including the Monster Channel, the Vortex, Other Worlds TV, and Tingler Television. Uh, we also have... Um, what else is there? Events um, that we do. We got upcoming events and a podcast. And that's the other thing is the podcast. So if you can't TV watch show. our show because if you're like not available, or whatever, you can't find us on YouTube, which you can, but um, you just did. Yeah, you could. Um, but if you're cruising on your way to work and you can't watch it, listen, listen to it. Oh. Yeah, it's Dollar Store Drive-In. Spotify. We talk about, uh, TV or not TV <laughs> movie movie that we bought somewhere movie show. typically at the dollar store or other places like that movies never seen before stuff that's really inexpensive and that a lot of times it's not always top tier but the fun of the show is that sometimes we find a gem out in the rough and sometimes there's fart noises sometimes there is a lot of fart noises very often not uncommon to hear them like this so check that out what you're gonna make it fart I he actually did not fart but... <laughs> All right, check us out. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Let's quit yakking. And get back, back to, to snacking. snacking. Bye. The festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.